This is Mr. Green and Funky Chicken. That's Pyromancers. We're traveling to Spawn. And I suddenly saw this up to my left. And apparently that's part of Fallbird's base. Oh my word. Oh, I'm going to ask her if we can come and have a look at that. And so we go into the tunnels. We have reached Funky Chicken's base and the first glimpse I get of it is this absolutely astonishing tower up there. Goodness me. Traveller's Rest, how nice. What a lovely thing to put there. Uh, oh, and look, do these layers of sticks stop the rain? That's fantastic. Um, yeah, it sort of splashes off of them. I don't know if yeah. it stops all of them. Yeah, but it doesn't yeah, put the fireplaces actually... out. You, you can't tell, but at night there's a little um, light underneath here too, so it kind of lights up a little bit. Oh, what a lovely idea. Gosh, some people do some great... Did you do that? Uh, I did, actually, yeah. Well, I, I think I that... a few of them in when that... I was traveling around. Oh, I, I want to do more of them, but I've been working on yeah. my base lately. Well, we're still at the stage of... traveling trying to move berry bushes along the roads just so that when people travel down you know they've got sort of food on the way no you know i just started um doing it when it started when the the you know when they changed it so you started getting cold in the winter yes oh and suddenly it was a real problem oh what a good this, idea you know, before i got on my hands on some good clothes what brilliant idea oh all the signposts Beautiful, right. Oh, yeah, so this, um, off to the left here, if you take the left path, you get to that furniture trader I was talking about. Right, I think I've got him marked. Um, let me have a look on my map. I'm pressing everything. Let me just, uh, get out of that. Gosh. No, I haven't. I've got spawn yeah, marked. Just, I mean, we can walk over there. He's just sort of right around the bend. I will do actually, if you don't mind. It's always no, yeah. good to. Um, I'm not. I haven't checked him in a few days. I'm not sure what he's got right now. So you must be very close to spawn. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, it's 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 really maybe a hundred blocks. Wow. Because I know. A little pumpkin patch there. That's really nice. Yeah. You build really. Oh, how nice! Look at this, guys. Free berries. Please close the gate. You're a kind person, Funky Chicken. That's really lovely. Let's have a look at what this trader trades in. Lynn, hello. Oh, he's got the elk picture. He's got lanterns, barrels and everything. And he wants coloured glass, heavy tool belts, artisan scarf and carpets. Oh my goodness. Wow. You want what I want. Right, I'm following... Yeah, what's up there? It's a nice little area. Oh, this is all. This is basically all part of my base now. Yeah, I can bring you around to the front side. No, no, let's go. Let's go in the. Door. Let's go in the front door. I okay. love the yeah. way that you've got the um, paths. You've got the wooden slats in with the. Yeah, well, you know, gravel. actually, the reason I initially started doing it was because it kept the snow off, so I could oh. still kind of see where my paths were. Yes, of course. The, um, the path blocks will show up on the map, but the gravel ones don't. Yeah. And I like using the gravel for paths sometimes. Yeah, I think that's right. I think when you're being, when you're building the paths that go a very long way, you can't beat a path block. But when you're just around your own base, you can have all sorts of fancy paths. Okay, so this is the sort of the main entrance here. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, look at this, guys. Oh, I love your doors. You've got a portcullis and... Oh, actually, that's right. Hang on just a second. I made a list of these commands. I'm going to just go ahead and add you to my claim, if you don't mind. No, please go ahead. To open all the um, doors and stuff without waiting for me. Oh, thank you. That would be helpful. I'll, I'll just stop and eat something while I do. Lovely, lovely flowers here. Have you planted all these, or did they come with the plot? Actually, um, I well, I, I spread them out a bit, but no, there was a meadow very close by. Oh, lovely. And your trade is just there. I mean, this is wonderful. He's come and parked near the castle. 
No, I, I uh, thought this was a really nice area, but once I started building it up, I realized just how close to spawn it was. <laughs> I didn't think I was quite as close as I as I turned out to be. Oh, <laughs> is that a problem? But it's it's been no, it hasn't been a problem at all. In fact, it's made me more creative in my my build. I think. Yeah. I'm just looking around here, and this is unbelievably pretty, guys. Look at it, beautiful green verdant rolling hills and valleys close to spawn absolutely gorgeous place building on a hill i mean this is so nice good choice funky chicken good choice yeah, I, know. I, I have uh you know nipped and tucked here and there to make it all kind of flow the right way but i mean mostly this is just what was here i just tried to work with it when i could oh always best i think the best builds and, you know, because yeah. i am so close to spawn i um didn't want it to be, you know, terribly visually obstructive. So a lot of my base is built into the landscape. Yeah, I can understand yeah, that. You know, as much as it's practical. Mm. Oh, I'm with you on that one. Let me see if I can open your portcullis. Oh, yeah, go oh ahead and try wow! It. Yes, I can. Oh. Yes. Oh, perfect. I am now officially funky You're chicken's in. roost. Lovely. Oh no, I pressed on the wrong thing. It's all right. Listen to it. Oh, wonderful. Oh, you have to... I love the sound effects. Yeah, me too. Oh, gosh. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, guys. Oh, this is a medieval galleried hall. I love it. It's really weird, actually, because outside, you've got this absolutely pretty, pretty gorgeous area. And inside, you've got this absolutely powerful medieval structure and it's this is this is saying power strength i love it Ooh. yeah actually the um this right. floor here i've been working on but i haven't got a chance to finish it yet it's gorgeous um, just, i like i figured out how to do the inlaid bricks but i'm not sure about the chalk background i'm thinking of changing to um a darker maybe a limestone or conglomerate it's a little bit too bright i think chalk's lovely though isn't it i, I haven't seen much i do chalk. like it it really makes it stick out it really yeah i think it bounces light around but i understand what you mean about the limestone might be uh less of a contrast but it's very nice i like it yeah, I've been just tinkering with the idea, and this is sort of how far I've gotten so far. But I, I do like it. I think I will finish it off. Yeah, I love the idea. Right. Uh, so Which is the see, best way to go to... round? I will um, follow well, you. Go... Yeah, let's let's go round back here. Okay. This is actually the newest part that I've been working on. This is going to be uh, sort of storage, basically, down here. Uh huh. But I haven't actually got much moved down here yet. Oh, you've got bamboo. We've got a little bit of bamboo. I love bamboo floors. Absolutely love them. Yeah, so this is just, um, yeah. really, this is just going to be a place for a lot of chests, you know, sort of big storage area. Yeah, but it's a, I mean, but look at the floor, guys. Oh, oh, look at this wall. What's this? How have you done that? Oh, just um, picked it out with a chisel because if you come on the other side here, yeah, it's uh, dark. This uh, shale cobblestone. Oh, and so some of the uh, slabs I had to do, you know, d dual material, and yeah. so I just picked through some of the shale cobble onto this side just to give it a bit of contrast. I love it. I'm loving this way of just drawing extra colors into a wall. Look at this, Mr. Green. It's gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. Okay, um, I'm following you. Oh, okay. Uh, and then sort of pop out here. This is that uh, just a couple sort of galleried hallways I carved through the mountain for access as much as anything else. I like those. I have to say I'm loving the way that you've got... This roof is lovely. I'm loving the materials. First of all... I, um, this is my flax field here. Yeah. I like it because you've got the rough fences, which look gorgeous. I've only just recently discovered that when they're not connected to something, you get this amazing 
sort of grey coloured pole. Then you've chiselled all oh, the know. roof yeah, beams. Yeah. Oh, isn't that fabulous, guys? That's really beautiful. That is really beautiful. <laughs> I'm loving it. Apart from the chiselling, most of that look you could get early in the game too. Isn't that nice? I must say, these early game things they've added, um, these slatted roofs, the rough fences, they've added a whole new layer of um, possibilities when, they're, when you're building, haven't they? Oh, absolutely. I think they've added a lot. Yeah, I'm, I was really happy to see the, yeah. uh, the rough fences and the, and the sticks bowl. Yeah. Uh, this is my little bee area here. It's very sort of modest, but I don't go through much. Oh, it's lovely. I've got it set up so I can just take, you know, each tree has three hives around it. And so I yeah. can just take two thirds and they reseed themselves quite quickly. Yeah. That... Uh, I've seen raccoons trying to get in, but they don't seem to get in. No, not so far. You know, even when it snows, I, I don't know if I've just gotten lucky, but so far they haven't been able to get in. I think it has to be a tree with leaves on. Oh, well, actually, those trees are fake. I just put this. They're like big stumps, basically. Yes. I just stacked them up there. Yeah, but I, I so think I, it's yeah, a... They don't, they don't it, seem to spawn the, um, the raccoons. No, but I, so I bet they strong. spawn under here, though. Wonderful. Okay, lead on. I'm loving your base. I'm, I've got so many ideas already. I love this look. Uh, and then oh, this look at the doorway, guys. Just, just you house. know, look at that. Oh, how nice. Yeah, it's just big enough for a little four crop rotation. And that's just enough to keep me fed. So it works out quite well. And then these are um, berries up here on the wall. Does it function as a greenhouse, though? Um, I would have thought. Oh, absolutely. Really? Yeah, if you look at the soil, if you look at the soil here, you can get the um... plus five percent. You can indeed. I would have thought yeah, that because the, uh, the 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 walls can't be chiselled, but you can attach chiselled blocks to the walls as long as the walls themselves are whole. Oh. Um, the the, the um, half slabs seem to be fine. Oh. It's just uh, chiseled blocks are definitely not fine. It took me a long time to figure that one out, too. This is the prettiest greenhouse I've seen. Isn't that lovely? Look at that. Yeah, this was actually one of my very first builds um, because the winters here are pretty cold. And so I think that yeah. extra few days was worth it. Yeah. They say Mr. Greens are uh, born in greenhouses. Uh, and then down there is my little... Uh, just a, there was a little uh, pond down there, so I just stuffed it full of reeds, and it's just a little uh, bed with my beehive going. Oh, but it's so pretty. Guys, look at the, look at the steps. Isn't that lovely? I love the way this comes down. It's really, it's so pretty. And you've got a little seat here. Somebody wants to sit there and contemplate the ponds and watch the dragonflies as they climb out of the pond onto the reed bed. It's lovely, absolutely lovely. Oh yeah, my word. The metal here was some of the views were so nice. They are indeed. Let me just look over the, it's a hill. I want to look over it. You know what it's like when you're- Oh, there's a big deep valley on the other side. Is yeah. there? It's quite, it's, it's quite nice. In fact, I think I might oh. build a couple little uh, lookout posts on some of these oh around here. definitely just a little circular lookout post nice seat sit here contemplate it watch the thunderstorms from here mm, yeah this if is... you're around when the um yeah sunsets, some fantastic sunsets i expect i will be this is gorgeous look at that oh my word yeah your build's very different you know, when I asked if I could come and see it, I'm so glad I did. Show me the rest of it. I'm already... Oh, sure, yeah, come on. Yeah. yeah it's, um, pr it's a bit uh, gothic, but... but um, oh, I love gothic. I, know, I like it. I live in a house that where the front of the house is gothic and the back is Victorian villa. So my house is a house of two parts. It is. 
Uh, and then this is the back door. This just goes. I've basically got car uh, doors on all the cardinal directions, so this just yeah goes back through to where we started the lobby area. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And links up yeah. the, the hallways. Okay, which way now? Um, but if we go back out. Yeah. This way, and see, this is actually what I was working on last night when we were chatting. Ah. Oh. Um, new pavementation furnaces. Oh gosh. And they've got. I, I can show you the downstairs part when we go inside. Yeah, I've got one of those going in my single player world, and I did a tutorial on it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the effort it cost me to get the bricks. <laughs> oh, they take so long to bake, too. I mean, just waiting for them to bake is an age. I. I did a tutorial on just getting the materials because I'd started off on this thing and halfway through I thought, I wish somebody had warned me about this. Oh, here, I'll put my lamp on. It's a bit dark down here. Okay. I haven't done, this is all pretty new, so um, the lighting down here isn't great either. That's fine. We've got lanterns. Um, this is the just the underneath area for the... Um, for the furnaces. furnaces. Okay, so you access them under here. Yeah. And in fact, I picked your advice of using the uh, the iron door on the bottom part. I like the way it looks. Oh God, I wish I hadn't put that making that into my um, video. I I'd, I'd never made one before, and I had no idea how to make it and how many iron bars it would take. And it it took up so much of the video. I wished I'd put it in a separate one. But it is one of these things that you need to know what you're going to do and what it's going to be like before you start. <laughs> Oh, and they're really nice when they get done. In fact, I wanted to tell you, uh, if you use two plates, it's yes. really easy. I know. Instead of four bars. People yeah. have told me that. <laughs> I, I was lucky. I was, I, was late to the, uh, I was late to the game, and so I'd, uh, everybody had already discovered all the secrets by the yeah. time I uh, yeah. came along. So I had a bit of a better time of it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, um, I, okay, and so I think that's everything down here. Yeah, which uh, is so lovely. We can start heading up. Okay. Uh, this is just the door. This is where we already were, the door out to the um, flax field in yeah. the, the B area. Yeah. Um, and this, uh, this ladder, by the way, goes the entire length of the build. So if you want to get to any floor quickly, you the go ladder up. is sort of quick access. Okay, right. Yeah. But you, I've uh, been eyeing up. Should we, do we shut that? I've been eyeing up this staircase because... I have seen the chiseling here, which oh, is... Yeah, I didn't know if anybody else would notice. Oh, I noticed the details. And I love it. I love it. And I know that when I'm going round, um, I do tend to stop and have a quick focus on the details. Because I know a lot of people oh, yeah. no, love just, seeing um, them. If there's anything you want to stop and look at, just let me know. I will do. Um, yeah, so this is actually the way we're going to go up. But I'll have you come around here real yeah. quick. This is just a sort of little dead end balcony. I've got a few of these because back behind here is where the gate comes up. Ah. Oh. So I used this to sort of disguise the front of it so you couldn't see the, the sort of pocket that it slides into. Good idea. But it gives you a nice little sort of overlook here, too. Oh, it does. Yeah. I love Garrelly Halls. And up we go. Yeah. This is. Um, nothing yet i'm not sure what i'm gonna put in here this is where the fourth gate comes up so i yeah. just carved out a sort of little uh a couple of little rooms but i haven't decided what i'm gonna actually put in here yet collection of pots and plants i would always go yeah, for yeah i've got so much junk i don't think i'll have any trouble finding stuff to put, <laughs> yeah. stuff to put in <laughs> well you were very kind you've given is... you've given us a lot of stuff for which many thanks uh, so this is my kitchen area. This, this is, is a kitchen? <laughs> this is my kitchen. Wow. Oh, my word. Oh, good grief. That reminds yeah, me of... I, what? I was going... I, I just wanted to put a, 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 a water, a little permanent well here. And yeah. I just happened to have a chisel in my hand, and I just kept going and kept going. And kept going. <laughs> I just couldn't stop. I spent hours chiseling this thing. It turned into a sort of altarpiece. Do you know, I was just going to say, it looks like a shrine. It's wonderful. No, it, it, was not, it wasn't intended to be when I started. I just sort of ended up <laughs> And that's the pantry through there, okay? Is that your food cellar? 
that's yeah, and it's it is actually functional too. Oh, I would expect nothing less. That's so pretty. Pretty, pretty simple, but it's plenty wow. of room for everything I need. Wow. So where do you cook? Oh, right here, the center. This um center spire is a fireplace all the way up and down. Oh. Yeah, oh. Like you can kind of pop in here and look, you know, up into the. Oh, good. I mean, you can't see because the grates in the way. But it I'm I'm glad there. you have. Wow, that's some chimney. Industrial yeah, scale. I had, those, uh, <laughs> I had to put those grates in to keep from falling through during construction. Oh, don't! I I looked down a mine shaft when I was looking at Arkans build, and I managed to jump down the mine shaft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know! I saw that one. Yeah, yeah it was great. <laughs> It's one of these, then, yeah. Oh, these are just, um, you know, sort of barrels. I've got honey yeah. back in here. Yeah. Just sort of uh, utility type stuff. Just keeps oh, it all sort God. of tucked away. How nice. Cupboards. Oh, and these, um, <laughs> I do want to show you this just because I really like the way it turned out. These windows here. Yeah. Uh, right now we're below ground. No. Uh, uh, yes. I see, if I knock it out, you can tell. Oh, you've put... Is that glacier ice? What have you put behind here? Sorry, I've got your window. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's... Oh, yeah, it's uh, glacier ice. And, uh, it gives this... The, the light filters through it. It gives this great, um, sort of trompe sky effect. Especially behind the panes. That's absolutely brilliant. So you put the staircase in front then you have that and then the glacier ice in the windows how wonderful i hadn't realized we were underground yeah i just did it sort of for the effect so it didn't seem Hang too on. um claustrophobic here oh thank you what a okay, brilliant then... idea this is yeah same thing along the um sides here this is just sort of firewood yes i go through a lot when i'm cooking so i like to have plenty of storage it looks wonderful gosh i'm getting so many good ideas here this is very well thought out apart, apart from the shrine it is a unique thing you know it's, 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 you ought to put this <laughs> you ought to put this in a bathroom it's the sort of thing where you you feel you ought to have a shaving mirror and sort of marbled tiles and a marbled bath don't you it, it yeah it was really, it was it just kept going and going i just couldn't stop i, <laughs> I think <laughs> it's gorgeous i mean i do like the way it turned out but yeah it is a little slightly over the top it's lovely right i'm following you oh and up we go now this right here um i didn't really intend for this to be a pumpkin loft it just sort of turned into one <laughs> I just as they do as I they do. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my word. And, <laughs> yeah, worked out. Fabulous. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's such fun going round. Yeah, it's a bit like a maze. That's why I told you about the ladder in case you get lost. Just look for the ladder and you yeah. can get anywhere. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm absolutely loving it. <laughs> okay, oh this, i say we are, we're we're above ground now so these windows are proper windows yeah oh my word a learned library oh perfect oh yes oh, i love this i love this and i am absolutely loving the way these windows look look at them guys Look at the oh. chiseling. Oh, my word. Yeah, there um, we, we can take a look at the outside of the windows during the daytime, but I, I did the insides to match the um, sort of pattern of the outside, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is That's beautiful. Sort of how each one had a, like a casement. Yeah, loving it. I love the um, way then, you yeah, put the shelves here. Sort of collectibles, yeah. Oh, I'm like you. I collect, collect, collect. Yeah, I can't. So I can hardly pass a show without without grabbing it. Even if I already have a copy, it's just so hard to leave it behind. I don't. I don't either. Right. Where to next? This is. I have to say, I'm so enjoying myself. Ooh, a bit more. Yeah. Just a little gentle bit of chiseling as you go past. 
Is that you, Mr. Green? Do you need some food? I can give you some. Uh, this little area here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It's just, I, I thought I might put some sort of uh, gold and silver, like very valuable treasure. Oh, things yes. Like yeah. Oh, that's a vault, uh, isn't it? Yeah. I thought either that or uh, a sort of little uh, dungeon, like a sort of above ground dungeon cell. You uh, know I'm what sure you could do? In my own dungeon. <laughs> you could buy a wolf puppy and put it in and have a wolf locked in there. Oh, that's a good idea. Although, I don't know if I'd want to hear him howling from that close. I'll have to think about that. Yeah, that's true. Boy, it would scare my... It would certainly scare my guests, though. Yeah. What's in that... What What? What plant is in here? Oh, uh, that's a fern. Actually, it's a bit tall for that thing. I, ha I need to rearrange... No, it no, it looks perfect. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, it looks that's gorgeous. A fern. I really like the way they look in the pots. Yeah, they look gorgeous, don't they? Right, where to next? Oh, uh, up again. Carl, you must have had some fun. So this is supposed to be my blacksmith, but basically it's my attic at the moment. <laughs> oh, my word. So we're up at windmill level now. Right, yeah. There's, a, there's The rooftop is above here. But this is the highest sort of functional floor. Yeah. Oh, that's spawn. And that's the... That's you can actually down. see spawn from here. Wow. That's yeah, incredible. I'm not surprised. So you can see people come and go from spawn. What fun. And how nice of you to put the... Um, to put the way stations, because when people first start, that's so helpful. This is lovely. Well, you know, there was um, there was already a sort of little couple's chest at the starting area, and then I just built it down into a little um, sort of, you know, that like that little traveler's rest yeah. thing, and then I just it turned out well, and so I popped a few more in along the roads where yeah. I traveled a lot. You know, so it just sort of snowballed. Sometimes I'm sad I come at night, but at other times, when you see the road here lit up going through the trees. Doesn't that look magical? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, it is really pretty up here at night because the stars are so nice. And oh, I love them. I love them. A starlit night and a well-lit path. That's gorgeous. Right. Okay. Pulverizer yeah, input. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, this is all pretty functional. I can show you. This is my, um, each, you know, there's a switch here. To yeah. Each one off on. Yeah. Where's the switch? I just don't like to hear my... Um... Oh, it's oh, the yeah, break up fact, there. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. I always like... Oh, wow. You, I, I would love it if these wheels went vertical too. But I think they only go horizontal, oh, don't God. they? Yeah, or if they do go vertical, I haven't been able to get them to. No. Don't because we we've got a build that we want to put um, wheels on. And it'd be wonderful to be able to run a shaft through and put the wheels on without having oh, yeah, to chisel no, think... everything. Yeah, I think you could really do some neat stuff. Yeah, you know where we've got Salem Sam? We've got the um, greenhouse behind it. Well, we want to put Ooh, wheels right. on it. And those would look wonderful, but I don't think they go vertical. Never mind. I will ask. Oh, uh, and then back here is just, yeah, this is my quern but i did do a little bit of chiseling so it looked that's a quern i didn't mm. know you could chisel a quern oh you've chiseled the sides oh, of I it i just matched the i just matched the blocks yeah. yeah yeah wow it looks terrific can we go and have a look at the top of your um wheel because i know that people love or, yep, uh, they love go... seeing how people yeah, have um last in so you can see the mechanics we have to take the ladder to get to yeah the here. of course um but i know people love just having a quick look at how the mechanics work wow so you've got three windmills feeding into this mm -hmm. yeah there's a, a sort of you know a corner junction each here but otherwise it's basically straight shots yeah the way i've got it set up is that the um the two big wheels are essentially functioning as one. 
the one on the top just gathers all the windmill power and yeah. sends it straight down the shaft. And then yeah. the second one is a sort of distributor. Yeah, yeah. So and so far it works good. Yeah. I haven't really, um, you know, I don't know a lot about all the torque and things like that, so I haven't optimized it. it but it, so far it's, it's worked just fine. Well, for me, if it works, never mind the torque. Um, so you've got... Yeah, I was afraid to mess with it. Axles. <laughs> yeah, you've got axles. And then you've got... What are the things yeah, go ahead that... And pop out the, uh, go ahead and pop out the glass paper. No, no, no. Just, t just t tell me what it is that's running around the edge of the wheel. It's the angle gear. Oh, it's an angle gear. Yeah, so it's basically yeah. straightforward shaft, angled gear, wheel going round. Perfect. Yeah, Absolutely it's really perfect. Not, it's, it's not a, a complicated setup, at least not no. on the scale of some of the more um, some of the more adept ones I've seen are pretty impressive. Well, I'm loving this. It's the little things, isn't it? Just the oak beams, bit of acacia wood, bauxite at the bottom. Just looks absolutely fabulous. So you've got the three windmills over there. Lovely. How do we get down? Over here. Oh, uh, straight down the ladder. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's Brilliant. no uh, stair. Right. Shall we go straight to the bottom? Oh, sure. Yep. Yeah, you can go um, all the way up and down. Yeah. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing I wish um, I could do the ladders in different colors so I could do the acacia ladders also. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah but it, it's a tiny, tiny regret. I mean, I, I'm so grateful to this game is so beautiful oh me too and i have to say your build is stunning absolutely oh, okay. stunning i love it i love the fact that you don't take up much space at all you've gone vertical it's just terrific yeah Where... sort of I, I hadn't intended it it just sort of as i went everything just sort of fit together that way it's, yeah but i really love the way it turned out i think it's absolutely spectacular it's brilliant I'm loving it. The other thing I love is there's so many wonderfully uh, different and quirky ideas. Already you've given me so many good ideas, like the glass um, windows underground. I mean, that was spectacular. Look, just putting cupboards in a kitchen. I mean, I just love it. You've got so many lovely, lovely things here. Uh, and no, you're... that makes me feel nice, actually, because I've taken quite a few ideas from uh, both you and Copy Girl, so... Good. I feel it's a good, it's a good exchange. <laughs> well, that's why I do videos like this, because not everyone who follows me is on a server, and they don't get the opportunity to see what other people are doing. But when you do videos like this, people can go around and have a look, say, oh, I like that, or, oh, that's a good idea, or I don't like that in some cases. But it does look spectacular. I'm loving the um, the torch holders here. There's something about the torch holders that give that wonderfully primitive look, isn't there? Yeah, I really like them. It's hard to, um, you go through the zinc so fast making the brass because it yeah. takes so much yeah. to make yeah. two. Uh, but they are really nice, yeah. so I do try and use them when I can. Yeah. And also the oh, light... Actually, I'm going to pop up to the kitchen and grab something to eat. I'm about to be sick. Okay. I'll be right back. Yeah. Well, look at this in daylight. We're up on the balcony. Um, I think I might press shift, actually. I'm absolutely terrified of jumping the, um, off. The, um, the railing is functional. It won't let you off as long as you don't jump. Good. Well, knowing me, I might. Oh, you've got misty mountains there. You've got a three. You know, for someone who lives in a very crowded area, because you're in spawn. Wow. Do you know... This whole area is negative temporal stability, except for this where I built my base here. And so no. It's, uh, very convenient because it keeps me from having any neighbors. Yeah, nobody wants to be here. Oh. Well, and I think people are, you know, everybody except for me is too, is smart enough not to settle so close to spawn. So close to spawn. And so I do kind of have the place to myself in a way. Yeah, but you were here early, weren't you? I can see black over there. Is that a, is that a chunk problem coming in? to mine can you see a black oh. hill no do you know what um there's there is something wrong with a chunk over there my view distance isn't quite as long as yours but i know the chunk you're talking about oh right now, if you go over there it's one of those um black zones of darkness that you yeah encounter occasionally. yeah i know i always avoid them i'm always afraid of going into them i might never get out 
Yeah, I assume it's a graphics glitch, but I don't know if it's maybe part of the story. Yeah. I'm really not sure. But yeah, they're, they're very spooky. Right, let's go down and have one more look at it from outside. Sure. This has been a, a wonderful, wonderful tour. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, feel free to look around anywhere you like. Um, there's, I think we've covered everything. Yeah, but, but I just... anything else you want to take a closer look at or ask me about. No, I just want to look at the outside again. Yeah, I need to... Um... I want to put in a water feature, I think, out front here, so I have an excuse to use a drawbridge. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at it, guys. And is it the same on all sides, or do the sides differ? I'm going to... Um, parts of it are the same. Uh, the balconies, I mean, stick out at a different angle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the back is quite a bit different, because it has the windmills, of course. Of course. But no, I tried to keep... I tried to make it so it was nice looking from different angles, a bit, you know as much as I could anyway. I think the word you're looking for is spectacular, not nice. Oh, thank you. And as for the greenhouse, it's exquisite. It really is. <laughs> no, I am proud of that. That was one of my very early builds here and uh, uh, I really do like the way it turned out. I'm astonished. I came over here and I looked over into this beautiful, beautiful deep valley you've got. What I didn't do was to look back up. Oh my word. Well, Funky Chicken, thank you so much. That was a spectacular tour. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. It's been nice to have you. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. Bye-bye.